How about using your crochet hook and knitting needles to cast on with crocus, which is a crochet cast on ultra stretchy. You're going to need your crochet hook and your knitting needles. Here is the crocus cast on, again here, and then we're going to cast off with a crochet cast off here. So let's get started. So you're going to start with a slip knot on your knitting needle and your crochet hook. And what we're doing is we're going to use our crochet hook like a knitting needle. So the first stitch is through the slip knot with your crochet hook in your right hand. And you're going to pull up an, a loop. And now let's start our crocus. We're going to start with our crochet hook by going behind the knitting needle and the first stitch, pulling up a loop. And then we're going to go on the right side behind the knitting, knitting needle, pulling up a loop. And now you have three loops on your crochet hook. Now you're going to pull through all three loops with your crochet hook. Bring your yarn behind. Your next stitch is going to start like every other crocus stitch, which is between the two last stitches. You're going to pull up behind a loop. Then you're going to go on the right side behind your knitting needle and pull up a loop. And again, we're just going to pull through all three loops. Bring your yarn behind your knitting needle. Pull up a loop on the left side. Go behind on the right side. Bring up a loop. Now you have three stitches, three loops on your crochet hook, and you're going to pull the working yarn through all three loops. Again, so you're going to bring your yarn behind your knitting needle, take your crochet hook between the last two stitches, pull up a loop from behind the left side of your knitting needle, bring your crochet hook behind the right side of your knitting needle. Now you have three loops on your crochet hook. You're going to pull your working yarn through all three loops. Bring your yarn behind for the next stitch. So here we go. And you can sort of get a, a little rhythm going. Okay, so when we get to our last stitch, you're going to pull up your your yarn from behind and on the right side, just like normal, you have three stitches on your loop and you're going to pull just, just like before. The difference is now you've ended with this loop on your crochet hook. So the way I like to do it is I bring my yarn behind as if doing the next stitch. And what I'm going to do is place the last stitch that we created onto the crochet hook. I remove it. So now I have two stitches on the crochet hook and I'm just going to pull this stitch through the last one and place it back onto our knitting needle. So our crocus cast on is complete. You can see the nice braid that it creates here and it is ultra stretchy. And when I turn it, you can see the nice loops, the crochet loops that it creates on the bottom. And then when you look on the back of it, it almost looks like purl stitches. Okay, so let's do our first row of knitting. You can either do through the back loop, which I did on this example here. This is the knitting on the back loop. Or regular knit stitches, which creates a, a twisted stitch, which is on this example. Now this example, let me just show you the example, is done in the round. And here's the, the join. And when I turn it inside out, let's take a look, you can see how I joined. It is almost seamless. I've left the uh, working yarns that need to be buried for you to see where I ended. So I'm going to knit through the back loop a couple of rows before we do our cro crochet cast off. Here's our first row 
and I'm going to purl back. And some of you know that I like to purl backwards, so I don't actually turn my work, but I just basically throw my yarn to purl back the row. And then we're going to cast off. Now we're ready to cast off. Again, we're going to use our crochet hook like a knitting needle. So grab your crochet hook and the first stitch is, starts with the yarn over. I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to pull it right through the yarn over and then pull off that first stitch. So now it continues. We yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're going to pull it right through the two loops that are on your crochet hook and pull off your stitch. Again, a yarn over. Now you have two loops on your crochet hook. Pull up a loop and pull it right through those two loops. Yarn over, pull up a loop and right through the two that are on your crochet hook. Yarn over, using your crochet hook like a knitting needle, you pull up a loop and you pull it through the two loops on your crochet hook. Remove your loop from your knitting needle. Yarn over, pull up a loop and through the two loops. And your last stitch, you're going to pull it up, pull it through two loops, remove your knitting needle, and you're just going to give yourself a little bit of slack. And this is where we take our scissor and we're just going to cut and that that finishes off your your sample so here let's take a look at the crocus cast on here and the crochet cast off so on the cast off, you'll see a nice braid on the front and on the top. And on the back, you see just the purl stitches. And here is your crochet crocus cast on back, which looks very nice with the purl bumps. On the sock, you're going to notice that I used the crocus cast on as well. Very stretchy. And it's with a rib, so you can see that you can, you can use this cast on for a rib on a sock.